How's it going everyone? Here we are again back in Fishing Planet. I know a lot of people were excited about the next episode of Free to Play, but the problem is the majority of people excited for the next episode are wondering what to do after San Joaquin. And unfortunately, it, it just it takes a long time to get through the grind of Sturgeon, and that's what this episode is all about. What do you do to kind of break up the monotony of uh, fishing for sturgeon at San Joaquin? You know, you've been doing it for hours. Maybe you're level 43, maybe you're level 45. Who knows? Um, you got to have something to kind of add a little bit more fun. You know, it's not all about grinding in this game. You're unlocking a lot of interesting locations and, uh, and you should be able to go fish there in the meantime. And the great thing about the sturgeon is that you're making a ton of money and it kind of opens the game up and allows you to do more things that you hadn't been able to do before. And so that's what this episode is all about. So if you're excited for this one, hit the like button, pack your tackle boxes in. Let's get to fishing everyone. It's Legendary Bow Angles. All right, so for this particular episode, I am, I'm, I'm changing it up. Now, this is a lake that a lot of people enjoy, and I know a lot of people will enjoy this episode, and that is White Moose Lake. We're level 43. We've been grinding away at Sturgeon for forever, it feels like. And, uh, you know, honestly, some of the same stuff that you're using for Sturgeon at San Joaquin, you can also use at White Moose Lake for the lake trout. But we do need to make a rod uh, upgrade here, I will say. Um, we're currently using the Loki six foot seven which is six to 23 pounds 19 pounds on the big river 6500 this could possibly work for up I'd say the majority of the lake trout you're gonna catch um, at White Moose Lake however the big thing is if you catch a 40 plus pound fish you might struggle a lot um, and, and it might actually spool you I'm not sure I mean I, I could go out there and test it or I could just make sure that it won't happen to begin with. Um, so that's why I'm gonna go ahead and do, I have written down right here an upgrade we are going to make, and you can consider making this as well because this is a good rod to have for this particular size of fish. Um, you're gonna find other size, like other fish that fit in this category, and this is a rod that you might end up using um, on different locations. And so I think it's a good upgrade here. This is the River Tech Zeus 8 foot 10, and it's 18 to 46 pounds, which is a good, good Good little scale there for a lot of fish out there. Um, so we are going to upgrade to this. It's twenty-eight thousand dollars, as you can see in our little uh, account there. We've got one hundred ninety-three thousand two hundred and fifty-nine dollars. If you're wondering why I have bait coins, I saw a comment about this, and I'll just I'll go ahead and tell you what happened was that they had a server restart. <laughs> For video series, it's already taken me a long time to make. I'm, I didn't want to do that just because of a stupid server update. So that out of the way, we're gonna go ahead and upgrade to this Verivertech Zeus 8 foot 10. Let's go ahead and buy that guy. And we're going to go ahead, put that on this rod, and we're gonna add the Mega Tank 6000, which I believe we were using for the pike. And we're gonna put that there. And I also saw that we unlocked this X series mono that's 38.5 pounds. We're going to put that onto there. 35, 357. So cool. We've got 46 pound uh, rod, 32 pound reel, and 38 pound line. That should work. It's, it's it's not as strong as the rod, so we don't have to worry about our rod breaking. Um, we can use our reel pretty much up to max drag, basically, on that reel and not have to worry about our line breaking. We should be just fine. And as far as lures go, these um, lake trout at White Moose Lake love these medium spoons. This uh, red tiger here, one and a half ounce, that's going to help with getting that lure down in this real deep lake. Um, and then four aught is a great size for those uniques. Um, but this is basically what the setup we're going to go with. And then also we had these set up uh, for the sturgeon at San Joaquin. And this is just a four aught X series barbless hook. You can just use regular barbless hooks. Somehow we unlock the X series through some sort of achievement. So I'm going to go use that anyway. Let's go ahead and buy the advanced Alberta license, $4,000. And then we should be all good to go, everyone. Check this out. And they're giving us a thousand dollars just for showing up nice all right top notch well first time here at white moose lake on the free to play it's a beautiful lake honestly the mountains the ice the water um and it's so the visibility is so good you can see the lake trout swimming up to you um you know from like 30 20 30 feet down it's kind of cool um pike 
along that whole other side over there along this uh, this little log if I can zoom in and see that log right there pike and catch pike around there that's not a bad idea um, they'll pay pretty good but we are just gonna have some fun today and try to go after some lake trout so we're gonna go ahead and move the time up to here maybe around one o'clock it seems I'm gonna go ahead and put my rod stand down. We're gonna throw that out at our four aught barbless spawn sacks. Um, this is what I was having good luck on the bedtime fishing with bow episode that I just filmed this morning. That there, this out here. Honestly, you can't you can't truly go wrong. I think uh, with with choosing a spot to throw these out. The the one cool thing that they've added into fishing planet in the last oh half year basically is the jumping fish to give you an idea of where to cast. Um, so you can kind of look out and. Throughout your stay here at White Moose, you will see lake trout jump up um, out of the water. Um, and that will give you an idea of kind of where you could cast if you wanted to. So I'm sure as we're uh, fishing along here, we might see that happen. Absolutely like that one just jumped. Ooh, already getting this left rod. And there it goes, man. Goodness gracious. <laughs> that is what I'm talking about. Ooh, pulling out line. Our first fish. <laughs> pulling out line here goodness gracious so this is the kind of fun i'm talking about you know it's just i it's such a difficult thing with fishing planet because people want to get up a higher level they want to go after the fish in the amazon and africa and all that jazz and i understand that but when you do that you're getting to the end of the game and and those people who have reached the end of the game can comment down below but once you reach the end of the game it's the end of the game there's nowhere for you to go it's no longer fun the fun of the game and the difficulty of it is that the fun of the game is getting to that high level once you get there how much more for you to do do competitions i suppose um but yeah enjoy the struggle enjoy going and trying out these maps for the first time because that is where the fun truly is but here we go this is a great first leg trout man and we're gonna get this net here once he gets tuckered out a little bit more i'm being pressured with a second fish we're able to just play this guy i'm glad that i had this 47 pound rod and reel set up for those sturgeon because this guy is still messing with us isn't he like a freaking pit bull on the end of our line strong putting up a fight my man the net out get in the net there bud here we go let's go first fish man and that is a unique lake trout 521 XP with two green arrows, I will say, on the setup for these sturgeon. So I wasn't far off. That's great. So, I mean, that's a perfect example of you have the setups, right? You have the bottom rods that we've been using for the sturgeon at San Joaquin. What is keeping you, what, 4,000 plus 7,000, I think, was the travel? So $11,000. When you're up here and you got $190,000 from fishing for sturgeon for a good little amount there, I mean, we're level 43. There is... There is $11,000 keeping you from breaking up the monotony of fishing for those sturgeon for forever. You know, to get one of these big old unique lake trout, 40 pounds, man, for a ginormous lake trout, $1,833. Come on, man. That's awesome. And uh, 4, 521 XP doesn't hurt as well. Let's take a look at Heenail. Heenail, what do you think there, bud? Oh, my goodness gracious. He is happy, man. That is a happy alien right there. <laughs> oh, my God. Heenail, I got to get a good picture of you. Just a second. Yeah. Yeah. You look happy there, bud. You're a happy alien. I'll give you that. Turn a little. Nice. Nice. All right. Top notch. Well, we'll keep this guy. Hopefully, we can catch some more here. I mean, that what, 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 that took like five minutes, maybe? Good God. I, not even that. Maybe two minutes. We literally threw it out there. And before I could get a cast in with the spinning rod, <laughs> that guy, that guy, oh, we just about hit that fish that jumped out on the head. <laughs> All right. Top notch. Two rods out there with spawn sacks. If we don't get anything on this right rod, we might move it. Um, that's always something, you know. Maybe you just really miss the miss the spot, you know. Never hurts to throw it out there. All right. Finally have a moment to throw out our medium spoon. See what sort of crazy stuff we can get into here. I, I will say this one thing about uh, fishing with the medium spoon at, at White Moose Lake. Do not be afraid to change up your uh, retrieve, you know. And it takes so long to get to the bottom. It's good to have these bottom rods here just to break up the fishing. This is a lot smaller. Could even be Atlantic salmon. Another fish you'll catch is splake. Those three fish, the lake trout, the Atlantic salmon, and splake are, two, are three fish that you'll end up catching. I'm all on the same bait and lures. The eight pound lake trout. Very nice. A little light for this setup, but uh, 
it pays to have that heavier setup for those big lake trout 40 pounders that put up a big fight even if your rods you know stronger than they are it's great to see oh no we snagged on some shells drat sauce like i said i just filmed this uh bedtime fishing with bow episode out here at white moose lake and i never snagged the entire time and now look at this a first cast and we snagged on a on a shell of course Stupid. <laughs> Look at us. We're a white moose janitor. We catch one shell and they've uh, given us a, a job here. Given us a career of uh, janitorial service. All right. Let's go ahead. Get back at it. Aston. Oh, he's got fish. Very nice. Little lake trout looks like. Uh, the, one, the one and a half ounce, I will say. The medium spoon. That is great for letting it go down. Once you move to like a half ounce lure or something like that, you are going to be waiting for days, it feels, to get that lure to go all the way down to the bottom so you can start retrieving it. To rather... Uh, uh, it's a rather pain everybody look at this didn't even have to do a retreat good golly man one second was out by 50 feet just about it seemed so i'm glad we made that rod upgrade because this this rod's about two times as strong the real i'm not sure is two times as strong but you know it's 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 close doing okay doing okay now and this is a rod that you can use for larger fish like the Payara and stuff like that when you do unlock some of those uh, South American maps. Um, it's it's just a great rod to use for any fish that's kind of around that 40 pound mark or in the 30s and stuff. So I do see us using this throughout our fishing planet career. I know on my other account, the uh, the premium account where we first started our fishing planet series, you know, that was that was a rod I still have inventory and use quite. First catch with the medium spoon out here. See Seems to be a pretty decent sized Atlantic salmon, and we are netting this sucker. Get in the net there, bud. Trophy collector. There we go. Trophy Atlantic salmon. Oh my goodness gracious. What a beautiful fish. Uh, I'm seeing that light flecked off its noggin there. It's amazing. With the River Tech Zeus shown in all its glory on the right there. That is fantastic. Well, what a pretty fish and, uh, and, and a pretty area to be in. You know, it's certainly, like I said, we came here to uh to break up uh just the pattern of throwing out for those sturgeon catching sturgeon changing the time throwing out for sturgeon again you're doing it over and over again this is a fun little break you know not every episode of the free to play series needs to be you know so this is what you do now this and now this and now this some of these episodes are just going to be some options for you to have fun, because that's what this game is all about. It's not about grinding from one location to another. It's sometimes about just taking advantage of the locations that you have available, especially at this point, you know. When I first started this free-to-play series, the big thing I wanted to show people, contrary to what I just said, was that if you just follow these steps, the game's not impossible. It's not full of microtransactions that you have to shell out, you know, a couple bucks here, a couple bucks there to get through the game. It's not like that. If you just follow these videos it'll get to you to where you need to go so that you can feel confident in playing the game and and we have finally reached that point with the sturgeon the sturgeon pay us good money we have hundred and ninety thousand dollars or we did before we bought this rod i guess and we can start going to new locations and having fun i'm um, just catching new fish species and enjoying the uh enjoying the mountains out here in the snow and the ice it's a lot of fun, everybody. It doesn't need to just be grinding from level 36, 38, or whatever it is, all the way to 48, so you can go to Selang River, even though that's what we want to do. So, um, if you need a break, head out to White Moose Lake. If you need a break, head out to Kanit Creek. You can just have some fun. You don't need to just do the same thing over and over and again until you just hate the game because you know that every time you play, you just have to go after sturgeon. You know what I mean? There's nothing wrong with just netting some fish. Look at that. Trophy Lake Trout. 24 pounds this time. 294 XP. $1,000. Not too bad. Not too bad at all. We uh, we currently have almost 100 pounds of our 330 pound Fish Fort XL there. So yeah, a little stop and go maybe right now. If we don't catch anything on the stop and go. Mix it up. We'll twitch. Do some twitching, eh? The twitch isn't working. We'll just do a straight retreat, you know? Find out what they're going for. You get so used to just arriving at a location and just, you know, the twitch immediately working. Or the stop and go immediately working. You catch fish back and forth, you know, uh, whatever you de decide to use first. And there's no reason for you to really change up your retreat. But White Moose Lake kind of forces you to do that. So we just did the stop and go. Pretty much the entire retrieve right there. No interest whatsoever. So this time, maybe we'll try Twitch. 
see if anything comes along. Could be the location we casted. Uh, could be the retreat, you know. Could be the lure. <laughs> Lots of different variables about fishing. That's what kind of makes it fun. It's like every single time you go out to a new location, it is a little bit of a mystery. You do have to be a little bit of a Sherlock Holmes to figure it out. And you have everything right here, you know. We came here with all the tools we need to make it happen. We have a red spoon, we have a yellow spoon. We know the four rot's a good size for uniques because we just caught a unique on a four rot with the spawn sack. So here we go, let's try a twitch. Ooh, got a little nibble right there. I'll tell you another lure that shockingly catches lake trout on this, and I don't know if I have it with me. Let's see, it's a crankbait. I should have brought it with me, but uh, these are all bait coins. But there is a crawfish colored uh, crankbait that dives down to maybe like three or four feet. And you know, you take a look at white moose when you're casting out and uh, retrieving and it's like super deep you know um, and you would think what would a three-foot crankbait do in this water it does it catches fish and it's crazy um, so I wish I would have thought to bring that with me uh, but if you're watching this video now then hopefully uh, you can make that make that change before you head out there otherwise you might be cursing me just like I'm cursing myself right now <laughs> that would have been cool to bring. all right we're gonna change it to one speed we'll try one speed straight retrieve and see look at that one speed straight retrieve and all of a sudden fish on guys don't need to do just fancy stop and goes and twitch the entire time what do we got though that's the question that almost looked like a burbot it was dark brown from what i saw but uh i need to pay more attention i'll probably be able to zoom in on when the fish is jumping out you'll be able to see it it's a splake it's a splake it's taking out line Ooh, i think we got a good size splake get in the net splake I had friends growing up named Blake, and it reminds me of that. Look at that. First, <laughs> no way. First Splake out here, a white moose lake, and it's a unique, man. That four aught, medium spoon. I'm telling you, that's where it's at, man. Such a beautiful fish with the spots and all that jazz. Um, yeah, man, so cool. And he nails happy about it too. He nail, you look happy. Yeah, look at him smile. That's awesome. 15 pounder, 360 XP, little bit, a uh, little bit light for this uh, rod setup we're using right now, 1200 bucks. I mean, we're just over a hundred pounds right now and we've got $5,410. I guess by the time we fill up our keep net, we'll pretty much pay for our travel and the license. So you could stay another day and just start making money, honestly, if you, if you really wanted to uh, change up you know the whole uh, the fishing thing a lot good to see that this is working the one speed I will say as far as like uh, direction is out front here between these two fire pits is where I see a lot of Atlantic salmon and splake be um, if you go off to the left of this fireplace right in front of me right now off to the left that's where I see a lot of lake trout, um, but you will catch lake trout throughout this area and probably same with the, the splake and the, and the salmon, but um, that's kind of how I you know, separate, I fraction out this area. I think well, all we need is a unique Atlantic salmon and we'll be set. We got the we got the full set of the splake, Atlantic salmon, and uh, and lake trout uniques. Look at, see how you can see right? Look at that guy. That's a unique right there. I can tell. That's a good one. That's a good one, man. I'll be surprised if it's not, I guess. <laughs> He's he's fighting them it's moments like that where you think you ought to be happy about russian fishing and fishing planet where you can actually move your character and get closer or further away you know all that jazz from your fish you're fighting this is call of the wild the angler I, it just drives me crazy this is an atlantic salmon well he's way out there now if that's the same fish we got two uniques on right now i got a unique atlantic salmon and he's got a unique lake trout come in here Come on, man. Show me the uni. Oh, trophy. That's not bad, but he did get a unique lake trout down there. Lord Julian, right on me. Well, top notch. Oh, trophy. Atlantic salmon, everybody. That's fantastic. 20 pounder, $923. Throw that, throw that in the, in the old keep net fish fort there. He nailed it the salmon. Yeah, two hands, he says. I got to hold this one with two hands. Very nice. Oh, man, we got a rod going. Cool, cool, cool. Is it just a nibble? Nope, let's take. That is a take, man. So, Righto, my friend. Whew, splash up. Not a big fish, but you know, it's a fish, and you can be happy about that. <laughs> you don't have to have a big fish. You know, let's not have something on the end of your rod for the most part. Goodness gracious. Trout master. Seeing my achievement. 117 out of 250 trout. I think the last trout we were catching was at Falcon Lake. That's been a bit, I suppose, since we went from Falcon Lake to St. Croix, grinded the uh, pike there, and went from St. Croix to San Joaquin grinded the sturgeon there so for a good oh god when did we unlock st croix 30 at level 30 so from level 30 to 43 
we've got nothing but basically pike and sturgeon <laughs> so it is nice it is nice to catch these trout catch these salmon um it's a it's a nice little change up i i don't want this episode to be super long <sighs> when i caught that trophy salmon i thought that would be a good one to end on will this episode be too short if you've made it to this point comment down below tell me if 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 that would have been a good ending point or if you're glad that we uh we let it go out a little bit longer i don't know if people enjoy long episodes or if they enjoy shorter ones a lot of people tell me they like watching this um when they're doing their own fishing so i'm sure they would appreciate me just you know fishing and catching fish and just being off in the back but i don't know i don't know for sure <laughs> better get to casting Catch some more fish. Just clarity of this lake. See this? All of you call the wild the angler people. Can't do this and call the wild the angler. <laughs> it stops you like right here. It drives me crazy. I don't know why. Why that's so hard to change from this point to this point. Retrieving now. Slow and speed. It's worked for what? Unique splake snagged on something mid. What could we possibly snag on mid water column? Is there a, sh a shell floating throughout there? Is this a bag? There was a shell floating in the middle of the water column yeah okay it's kind of make you wonder where the fish bite kind of stops for uh you know or making you kind of change time 136 pounds of fish the bite on the uh the bait has definitely stopped at least feels that way so hmm, interesting gosh darn second thing we've snagged on good god the shells are merciless they'll they'll they'll, they'll snag you in anything out here in white moose <laughs> this car oh there we got one away from us as well but top not it's just not tired enough to get out of the water how about now fought for another five seconds he's tired good deal another little 11 pound leg trout well i tell you what we can check to see how long it would be before we get change time but we've caught what 147 pounds of fish on this lake trout being the the last little 11 pounds there very nice 147 pounds we can check another 21 minutes before we can change the time so we can be out here struggling for a little bit or we could spend a bait when we switch the time but anyway this is as good a time as any to stop um i hope this helps you out you know if you're wanting to go to white moose lake take a little vacation from the sturgeon at san joaquin uh, you got your same two bottom rods you've been using for sturgeon. You got this third rod, which I've given you details about how to upgrade. Um, so you can come out here and catch a unique of uh, yourself. We've caught, uh, we just about caught the little, the tr trifecta of uniques out here um, on the medium spoon. We got the unique lake trout. Um, we caught a unique splake. We were only missing a unique trophy Atlantic salmon there. That would have uh, gave us the trifecta. But yeah, good $7,247. I think that covers the travel cost of coming here. So hopefully, um, you know, you could spend a little bit more time, pay for the full 4000 for the uh, advanced license and all that jazz if you wanted to. Um, but yeah, crankbait could also work out here. We could have brought that with us if we were thinking, um, but we didn't. Um, I think the next episode will be another location that you can uh, come out and have a little vacation at. Um, but I hope you enjoyed this. And if you did, you can comment down below if you have any other uh, lures or locations here at White Moose Lake um, to catch other fish. Help your fellow angler out if you have ideas um, to give other, you know, if you're wanting more locations to fish here at White Moose Lake, maybe you check the comments and see if there's any other ideas anyone has or lures to use uh, for different stuff out here. So, anywho, that's going to do it. Like, subscribe if you haven't already and if you enjoyed the video or found it helpful and if you want to join us at our live streams every monday wednesday 7 30 to 9 30 p.m central make sure you do so everyone a lot of fun to spend time fishing um having a good time we got who, who do we have around here we got lotus we got uh roban roban uh Ariz and fresh i too fresh who fresh for you uh yeah pretty cool everyone this has been fun anyway we'll see you in the next episode and as always remember everyone we're one planet one family game on